Hey, what's up? Hey, Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to generate any and every Pokemon into your Pokemon Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, X, and Y. To do this, we're going to be using PK Hex with our homebrewed 3DS. If your 3DS is not homebrewed and does not have two packs, you can learn how to get it by following my free and easy tutorial linked in the description below. Now, you may be wondering why would you want to gen Pokemon into your game? This can be used for many reasons, completing your Pokedex, obtaining unreleased Pokemon, competitive Wi-Fi battling, playing an elimination lock, and much more. If you're excited to learn how to do this on your 3DS, please leave a like as I worked really hard to make this as clear as possible. Now, without any further ado, let's head into the tutorial. Alright, as I mentioned, you will need to have two packs installed on your homebrewed 3DS. So if you have not done that yet, I highly recommend you check out my tutorial linked in the description below. But to begin, take out your SD card from your 3DS and put it into your computer. From here, open your favorite web browser and paste in the URL the link that is in the description below to download the Save Manager Homebrew application. When you get to the site, click on this link right here and it'll begin to download the Save Manager application. Now, it is a .7z file which can be extracted with any extractor that you have on Windows, but if you're using a Mac, there is not a native extractor, so you will need to get an archiver from the App Store. However, once you have that extracted, it'll give you a 3DS file folder and inside that folder there's a save manager folder that you want to put into the 3ds folder of your 3ds sd card as i just did once you do that you can eject your sd card and pop it right back into your 3ds and turn it on from here we're going to head straight into two packs by opening our youtube application and don't worry if your YouTube application crashes, trust me, it happens to me all the time, but if it ever crashes, just press OK and open it again, and if it ever freezes on this screen here, just manually turn it off by holding the power button for 10 seconds and reopen YouTube until you get access to two packs. And I understand this can be frustrating, believe me, it is for me, but it does work eventually. So once you get into two packs, scroll down to the bottom where you'll have a new application called Save Manager. You can click on it and you can scroll through all of the applications that are on your 3DS by using the D-pad going left to right. In my case, I had to go to the left to get to my Pokemon Alpha Sapphire and you can do this with Alpha Sapphire, Mega Ruby, X and Y, whatever the case may be. But once you get it on the screen, press A and then your 3DS is going to change to all sorts of colors and then you're going to press A to import your save. Once you do that, you can press X to exit and then of course exit homebrew by selecting start and A to restart your 3DS. Now that we've done that, we can turn off our 3DS and put our SD card right back into our computer. And from here, we're gonna go back into our favorite web browser and paste this second link into our URL, which is PK Hex. Now, there'll be a Windows and a Mac version. In my case, I'm using the Mac, so I need to use this link here to download this Mediafire PK Hex. However, PK Hex is natively run on Windows, so for Mac it may be a bit different. However, all you have to do if you're on Windows is download pkhex.exe and run it like any other application on your Windows computer. And if you're using Mac, just follow along what I'm doing on the screen now. The Mac version of PK Hex is a pretty big file, but it is going to take some time to download, so patiently wait. Of course, I sped it up for you all. And once it's done, just go ahead and open PKX by going into your downloads, right clicking and holding option as you click on open. This will allow it to open on your Mac and it is gonna take a good amount of time to open. For some reason, Mac users, it takes a while to open and then once it gives you this prompt, select open and then it's gonna take some even more time to open. Um, it does take some time, but once it's done, PK Hex ju looks just like this and it should look exactly the same for Windows users as well. So once you get to this screen, you're going to select File Open and you're going to go into your SD card. In my case, my SD card is called No Name, so I'm going to click on No Name. And from here, you should see your Save Met Data Backup folder. You're going to open that and then select Main and Open. This is your Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire X or Y save file. and 
it'll be automatically in your PC boxes. So you'll know it's your game and your save just by looking at the boxes and recognizing the Pokemon that you have stored in the past inside your PC box. And to generate Pokemon, it's really easy. And I'm gonna be showing you how to do that now. So for example, let's start with this Articuno I have right here. To view that Pokemon, you need to right click it and select view and you'll see everything about that Pokemon on the left and now from here you can change certain things about this Pokemon like its EVs, its IVs, its original trainer, its attacks and all that good stuff. But to create a new Pokemon you need to select set and this will duplicate the Pokemon that you just viewed and if you'd like to edit this new Pokemon you simply have to go to the species name and change it to whatever you'd like. In this case I'm going to change it to Volcanion which has not been released in any Pokemon game just yet. So. It's pretty cool to have this Pokemon while other people do not have it and of course you can make it a shiny by clicking this button right here or you can give it a nickname and its nature, held item, its ability. All of that stuff is very easy to manage just by going through the tabs here and giving it moves. It's really simple. All you have to do is just rename the moves. For some reason I had trouble typing. I don't know why but I'm going to give this Volcanion its special move or its exclusive move which is Steam Eruption. And of course, you can also use this to give um, Pokemon their best movesets for competitive use, whether you're playing VGC or whatever the case may be. You can also use this for that. This can also be used for completing your Pokedex. You can easily just generate the Pokemon that you're missing in your Pokedex and that way finish your national Pokedex and obtain the shiny charm. However, there's much easier ways to get the shiny charm if you're going out of your way to gen all the Pokemon. But you can do whatever you'd like with this. So once you're done editing the Pokemon on the left to actually get it to be in your box, you have to select set by right clicking and hitting set. Now you can do this in an open box or you can overwrite a Pokemon, whatever the case may be. But as you can see, you can also delete Pokemon by right clicking and hitting delete. Now there's a ton of other stuff that you can do in PK hacks, as you can see, but it's up to you if you want to mess around with it or not. But for me, I just stick to Gen Pokemon, and when you're done doing that, all you have to do is select the SAV tab on the top right, and then hit Export Save or Export SAV, and it'll automatically take you to where the last save was at, so just hit Save, and it'll say, do you want to replace it? Yes, because you're overwriting your old save with this new save that has the Pokemon that you just added into the PC box. So once you're done with that, you can exit PKX, eject your SD card, put it right back into your 3DS. And from here, we can go ahead and run two hacks again. And now instead of backing up our save in the save data manager application, we're actually gonna import the save that we just put into our SD card. So once two hacks goes ahead and opens for you, you just need to go to the save data manager application. And then you just need to select import save and it does take some time to open two packs can be a bit difficult but once you get the save manager find your pokemon omega ruby alpha sapphire x or y click on it it'll give you all the weird lines and then you just have to click b to import the save and then you press x to exit press start to exit homebrew and then you can launch your pokemon omega ruby and alpha sapphire and you'll see that the changes you made are now on that game. So I'm gonna go ahead and open my Pokemon Alpha Sapphire so I can show you guys that the changes I didn't just do happened and that you can easily use this to gen Pokemon into your Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. And hopefully this worked out for you. Um, genning Pokemon has been something that Nintendo has been trying to stop for quite some time. And there was a way to do this in the past with QR codes, but that has since been Hatched. However, with two packs, you can now use PK Hex to generate Pokemon into your 3DS Pokemon games, just as I did with Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. And in my opinion, that's pretty awesome. So as you can see, as I open my PC box here and head to the box where I generated the Volcanion, you guys will see that it is in my PC box and that this worked perfectly.